what I want to talk about today is how to package and ship like a boss. In other words, how to get your packages from point A to point B safe and sound. So stick around. All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, if you've never been to my channel before, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you want to learn how you can work from home, be your own boss, and create the life that you love. What we're going to be talking about today is how to package and ship your items safely. So without further ado, let's get right into it, guys. Uh, the first thing that you want to do when shipping is to make sure that you're shipping through eBay's shipping system. Uh, now, that is going to be um, you know, uh, located within the, the uh, eBay site, of course. And uh, the good thing about shipping through eBay system is the fact that all your tracking information is automatically uploaded onto the site and sent to your seller, as well as uh, you know, a, a notification to let your uh, buyers know that you have shipped an item. And this is going to help you out as far as you know, giving your uh, customers peace of mind and proving that you did in fact ship the item whenever you said that you would. Not to mention, it is much uh, easier, uh, you know, and convenient to ship through, uh, you know, eBay's uh, shipping system to use their online, uh, you know, open so open source software. If you can't use eBay system, then you can box and package and you know, run down to your post office and ship the items yourself. Just make sure that when you get back home, that you do upload that tracking information and inform your customer that the item has been shipped. Tip number two, always package your items in plastic bags. Before you put them in the box, uh, put most of your items inside plastic bags and this will just protect them against moisture, against water uh, of any kind, uh, any sort of liquid damage that could occur uh, you know, uh, during the shipping process. And I know it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an unlikely uh, possibility that you're going to get water or something on your items, but you know, nonetheless, it is always a possibility. And if it gets left out in the rain, or if someone were to happen to spill something on it, you know, uh, you know, many things can happen between here and there. Tip number three: Whenever you're shipping heavy items, uh, you can use peanuts, you know, to uh, box and package your items, you know, to keep them safe. If you're ship, you know, if you're if you're uh, shipping something delicate or heavy, um, then you know, you can use peanuts. Uh, the problem with peanuts, and especially when you're starting out, is that they're very expensive. So, uh, you know, what I used to do when I started out was I used uh, newspaper, old newspaper that I had. Uh, you know, you just crumble it up and use it, you know, like you would peanuts. Uh, just be careful not to crumble it up too tightly because then you sort of defeat the purpose and, you know, and you've got this really tightly packed, uh, you know, uh, newspaper balls and what that does is it's not going to give you very much protection. It's not going to give you very much uh, of a crushability factor if that is such a thing. Uh, basically, you know, you, you, you want to crinkle it down pretty good, uh, but you still want to have it a little room so that it can, so you, your item, uh, you know, if it gets tossed too hard this way or that way, that it does have a little room to, to crush that paper and, you know, sort of to work as a shock absorber. So uh, using newspaper to ship, uh, you know, to package and ship heavy items uh, is a great way to go in the beginning. Tip number four, um, the best, the best uh, way to ship your items is through USPS. Uh, you know, nine times out of ten, that is how, uh, you know, I ship most everything that I ship. Uh, it's convenient. They are integrated with eBay's shipping system. So, uh, you know, if you just use uh, USPS, you know, the Postal Service, uh, it's easy. Your tracking is all right there. Um, also, when you ship online uh, through UPS, I mean, through um, through eBay's shipping system uh, in conjunction with the USPS, uh, it comes with insurance on those items. And I believe it's $100. That's what it used to be. Uh, it could be 50 though, but either way, it does come with at least $50 insurance, so you don't have to spend more, uh, you know, more money on that. And, and like I said, it also it does include the tracking uh, as well, and it's very convenient. So you know, uh, nine times out of ten, just go through uh, you know United States Postal Service. Whenever you have heavy items, I found it best to always use FedEx. You know, FedEx is going to be actually the cheapest on uh, you know most of your heavier items. You can even go uh, UPS for your heavier items, but they aren't as cheap as FedEx. Uh, FedEx has the best prices for heavier items. Uh, you know, I've shipped uh, items, you know, 50, 75 pounds through FedEx and, uh, you know, the rates are great. So for heavier items, go through FedEx. Tip number five, make sure that you are using the right size boxes. Make sure your boxes aren't too big. And again, make sure your boxes aren't too small. You know, you, you want to be, uh, you know, you want to be just right on that. The problem with using a box that is too large uh, is that you know it gives it, it it will it gives your item too much room to move around. Uh, there's too much play in there, and that will cause problems. Uh, and the problem, obviously, if it's too small, then whatever you have is sort of crushed in. And if it is a breakable item, it's not going to afford 
that item, uh, you know, the amount of room necessary to float that item. And floating an item is, uh, you know, something that you, you will learn how to do uh, if, you're, if you're boxing and packaging hard goods. And that is basically just what it sounds like, is to float your item in the center of the box without it, you know, touching any of the edges and allowing it enough room all around to, uh, you know, to keep it, uh, you know, safe. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. Make sure your boxes are the right shape. Make sure that you are using the right size boxes. Tip number six, guys, always, always get tracking and upload your tracking to the eBay website and inform your customers that you've done so. Uh, this sounds like a small thing, but it's actually pretty big. Uh, if you're not doing it, uh, you are going to feel that on your, in, in your sales. So always provide tracking for your customers. Tip number seven, offer free shipping anytime you can. Just factor it into the price, or if you can, even better, give them free shipping. Uh, because that is going to, uh, you know, that is going to gain you favor with, uh, you know, the customers uh, as well as the eBay search engine. And many times people do only search for items that offer free shipping. So if you can, anytime you can, offer free shipping, guys. Tip number eight, always ship the same day. Uh, it's very important, guys, that you that you are shipping within 24 hours. People don't like to wait for their items. You know, I don't wait. I don't like to wait. You don't like to wait. And obviously your customers don't want to wait either. Uh, the quicker you can get something out to them, the better. When you're listing your item, there is an option there, and uh, they will ask you the handling time, you know, the shipping and handling time. Uh, now, actually, I think it's the handling time specifically, and that is how long uh, you're going to wait before you actually put that item in the mail and ship it out. And, uh, you know, always go with 24 hours, and that will put you uh, that much more ahead of your competition. Tip number nine, when you are shipping very expensive items, I always go uh, overnight for express. And uh, the reason being is because, you know, if you're shipping a four or five hundred dollar item, you know, um, you want it to get there as quick as you can. And if there is any sort of problem, any sort of issue, if the person does not want that, uh, I mean, the last thing in the world you want is for someone to, you know, pay you three or four hundred dollars for something. Now you ship it out, it can take up to like five days. Uh, and that's even, you know, if you're going priority shipping. Uh, it can take up to like five days to get there. So, uh, you know, you don't want someone to get something a week after you've, you've shipped it. You know, you've already received that cash and you probably already spent it. And uh, then to have to turn around and refund, you know, three or $400 is a big pain in the, in the neck. So uh, just go overnight, you know, bite the bullet. You know, it's, it costs anywhere from about 30 to, you know, $50 on average to uh, ship overnight. But, you know, if someone's just spent three or four or $500 with you, you know, it's a small price to pay for a peace of mind. Okay, guys, my last tip for shipping like a boss is to make sure that when you're shipping items that are very cheap, or inexpensive that you are using the post office first class mail. First class mail is second to the cheapest that you can go, uh, the lowest being media mail and uh, that's reserved for books and paper documents and things like that. So uh, you know use uh, first class shipping uh, unless that item is, is heavy. Uh, you know as long as it's a lightweight item is not too heavy first class is a good way to go. But once you hit I think it's about a pound then you know uh, your shipping is going to go up significantly, even if it is first class. So at that point, anything over you know a couple of two three pounds, go ahead and uh, you know just go uh, priority shipping, which is which is still uh, you know a pretty cheap way to go. And uh, the good thing about priority is that uh, you know they guarantee well on average your deliveries get there within about three days, which is which is pretty good. So weigh your options there. You know you might want to uh, you know depending on what you're shipping and what it costs and how heavy it is. Uh, you know, weigh, weigh, weigh it in the balance there. Should you go first class, uh, you know, which is going to save you cash, uh, depending on the weight, or should you go priority mail, which will get it there quicker. And, and many times it's only a dollar or two more. So uh, here's a little freebie. I would recommend, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're unsure, to check both. Check, check the uh, priority shipping rate and check first class. And, you know, if it's only a dollar or two more and, you know, it's in the budget, go ahead and go priority shipping. You know, your customers will thank you for it because they will get it quicker. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this has helped you out, uh, maybe cleared up uh, you know, some of your questions concerning shipping and packaging. If you have any questions about shipping or packaging, make sure you drop your questions in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to learn how you can work from home, be your own boss, and create the life that you love. This has been King of Thrift, and I'll see you in the future. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Years in the game, man.